when we are teaching the nuts and bolts of writing uh, we need to emphasize on teaching uh, you know text construction how texts are constructed how some of the strategies we can use as second language teachers in the classroom in this regard uh, we need to emphasize how uh, how coherence takes place in writing and how logical organization of ideas the coherence actually works for uh, and students can be shown uh, different genres of writing for example they can be shown report writing and they can be asked to work out what are the elements of report writing how abstract is written how introduction is written how uh, literature review methodology and analysis are written so they can look at like these features notice them incorporate them and produce on their own so in this regard like we have got uh, the concept of free text construction at elementary level which allows students freely decide how closely or how loosely they want to focus on the original text they are or original model they are they have read so on the next slide you will notice like it will offer as a springboard for for their imagination for example um, the student will uh, read this story about dog a big dog who was becoming a bit of problem so they can notice how the text is constructed this kind of activity can be incorporated which is called free text construction so it allows the students freedom to whether they would like to follow closely copy this they want to write the similar or the different one or based on their own experience right and after reading the story and answering questions and discussing those questions student can um, uh, you know do the exercise on this slide for example we can ask them this is just an example of course you can design your own examples of your according to the needs of your own students which may vary from context to context so for instance we can use the story to help students write a magazine article about an animal and we can ask them to use their imagination which has been in the news recently so for example they can uh, think of last winter when a man and woman were walking with their dog near a lake it was very cold and there was ice on the lake suddenly the dog ran so we can ask our students to think to imagine these questions what kind of animal was it and where did the story take place who were the people and what were they doing on the lake and what did the animal do what reward did it get so teaching text construction is one of the ways uh, we can bring in in the classroom and we can use parallel writing like asking student follow the model and whether they want to follow the model religiously or with certain kind of freedom or on their own imagination so this is how text construction can be a tricky area and there are different strategies which we can incorporate and one of the strategies is allowing a uh, showing students some passages and allowing them write according to their own imagination